I love something about her so much. And and I think that it's taking me, I, I, I could never figure it out because I feel like a lot of uh, Filipino artists. Great day to play. Welcome on into the channel. Well, it's your first time here. You are rejoining us. Thank you for being here with us today. You're loved, appreciated, always welcome in this channel. And you are right. enough. Today, we're back with more. G, 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 I did not know that. That's awesome. This is Torn. Okay. And, uh, you know, we feel about Gigi, so I'm really excited to be getting into this. I hope that it goes well. And, uh, please, if you have not already, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow along with our journey, check out our live stream Saturdays, noon central time. And you can check out our brand new music out now on Spotify, Apple, and Amazon, and all the other places that music doth exist. But, uh, are you ready for this? I feel like you've said that so many times that you don't know what you're actually saying anymore don't need to autopilot <laughs> that's what i'm saying well like, button. like it's just like blah, 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 blah. just comes out i'm like a I'm yeah. like a i'm like a what are those guys that do the things auctioneer i yeah I, that, that was really good good job let's go am i supposed to hit a button you said hit a button no 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 i it's like hitting a button it's just oh, like on auto yeah. pilot. you just hit a button and it just it's like a, yeah it says i no. i remember when i was a kid i used to do bedtime prayers and i didn't know what i what was you were saying. saying sure I just made the sounds that mom, my mom made me right. say until, and it's then, like the Lord's Prayer in church when you're little, and you have no, yeah, you have no idea what it actually means, but you just do it. Yeah, yeah. Like now I lay me. Sure. What? Sure. I don't know. It was weird. Like when I was older, in my twenties, I was like, oh, I was saying something. That, you know what I mean? It was weird. Anyway, let's go. I'm not even. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that it took you until you were twenty to realize <laughs> that English was a thing. I I, th I wasn't sure if we were, it was like a different language. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Dignified. What are they doing? They show me what it was to cry. You couldn't be that man I adore. I think they were doing they were doing what we were doing. Oh, trying to see if I it was on. I think they're live and uh the produ like their I don't think their monitors were synced up. Oh. So they were getting their producer to like sync them up. I thought then. they were messing around. I was like, stop. I don't think that they're messing around. No, no, look no. At, they're looking at yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. back there. I see. Which is incredibly more like she is unfazed. This is happening in her ears. Yeah, yeah I know. Like, I don't think that people realize that they're clapping and it's getting picked. Some of this is getting picked up by the things and it's clapping in her ears <laughs> off beat as she has uh, to continue along with the guitarist over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, their band is wildly good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Their they, band is really wildly are. good. I thought I saw a man brought to life. He was warm, he came around like he was dignified. He showed me what it was to cry. Yeah, I don't. You couldn't be that man I adore. Yeah, I don't seem to know or seem to care what your heart is for. But I don't know him anymore There's nothing where he used to lie A conversation has grown dry That's what's going on Nothing's fine, I'm torn I'm all out of faith This is how I feel I'm cold and out of shame Lying naked on the floor Blues will never change Into something real Dude, he's adding some stuff back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, um, this is like, it's wild to me because this was such an iconic sound 
yeah, of the time. 90s, right? Like this type of vocals were really what they were trying to emulate. You had a lot of girls. Like I think about like the quintessential pop song that's out sound mm -hmm. itself now this is something that i think a lot of people are trying to emulate but it's also like one of those weird things it's like i feel like it is truly a generational sound where like once people got away from it it wasn't like it wasn't a normal sound that people just have in their voices it yeah. was almost like a practice sound and now we hear a lot more post grunge of, yeah yeah and now i think what i think like today what that sound is is very much like the billy eilish uh, Olivia Rodrigo, yeah, 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 yeah. very kind of like that 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 soft, soft rap, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's that sound, and then that sweetie. sound is gonna go away. But it's always interesting to me when I see that because if you don't practice that sound, it's not like it just reappears again. But her voice just does such a good job of you know emulating that sound. Yeah, that she rasp. can find grit. Yeah, she can. She her and her grit's very clean grit too. It's yes. very it's very pointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, uh, very cool. She, she's in a Harry Potter chair. Yeah. So, didn't know that. Very cool. This uh, Secret Labs, man, she got that sponsorship money. Oh, probably. These these chairs are not cheap. No, They're no. not cheap, especially the ones that are branded like this. These are what? You got to send some emails, man. At some point. The problem these chairs is, is are these, cool, but these, like. But we need the ones that sit up higher. That's the issue. Well, go to highchair.com and <laughs> see see if they'll sponsor us. Highchair.com? We, yeah. we could probably get a chair. I just, I hate. <laughs> I hate affiliate programs. I hate the ones that are like, hey, by the way, if you buy this, we're going to pay you money. Oh, no, no, no. You I know what I mean? Like, that's generally how they work. for but... something that maybe, like, really... <sighs> we could probably... We could find... If you really want... We could probably find a chair sponsorship. But most of the chairs that we're going to be able to find are going to be like this. So then we have to figure out a way to, like, cut the legs off the desk. And I don't know that I want to do that. Or lower everything. Superduperbarstools.com. Superduperbarstools.com. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Anyway. I love something about her so much, and and I think that it's taking me. I I, I could never figure it out because I feel like a lot of uh, Filipino artists, um, they're very very trained in smiling with the camera. Think of all the wish yeah. bus performances that you see. It's generally a lot of times they're able to like yeah they're able yeah. to sing through the smile. It's very very musical. It's very very. Uh, and when I say musical, I don't mean musical in the 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 note sense. I mean musical as in yes. like stage performance Correct. sense. Correct. Correct where they do that and i'm sure that she can do that but i feel like she gets very emotionally lost in her music facially yeah where you see her far more often than other artists she closes her eyes a lot there's been her, times where she is like pulling yes, at her hair that's what i'm saying like she gets very very just it's almost like a method acting right you know where you get lost almost in the character in the song but for music like right I, and, and I appreciate it. It's not that I don't appreciate the other ones for what they do, but I, I love that about her. I love that when she sings songs like this that have this emotion, when she's saying things like, I'm torn, where this song is very... If you remember, do you remember the music video for this? Wild, dude. Wild stuff. It was very, very, very like grunge era type yeah. music video, angsty. And... um like it it just that emotion watching it it just lends into when she's making this face and her eyes are closed and it, it's like no she really is like she is torn yeah she's not just saying it i think <clears throat> i think her her voice is so polished in yeah. in in the right way like it's not it's not over polished where it's it seems like she's thinking about every note that she's doing but her voice is yeah. so good that she can be her personality can show in other in other places without it affecting the performance. Yeah, like in in fact, it does the 
performance is better because of it. Yeah. Whereas a lot of artists, they have to they have to polish something up so mm -hmm. that they don't have to think about it. Yeah. Like if if my if my voice is completely and 100 percent good, then I don't have to think about what I'm doing with my yeah. hands. But some some artists have to be like, don't for don't yeah. forget to smile. And don't forget, you know. But what, what what I find so wild about it with her though, is keep in mind that she's still. On most of these songs, when she does open her eyes, she's opening her eyes to check the lyrics yeah. for the song because she's doing them <clears throat> by request. In in the beginning of this verse, she didn't know where she was. Yeah. Remember? Like, just for a moment, she was late because she was trying to figure out yeah. the melody and stuff. There's also, I don't know if you can hear it, they're still, the pianist is still having, keyboardist, still having issues in the back. Yeah, yeah. You can hear yeah. every once in a while. Like, he's adjusting. He's doing what we were talking about doing earlier. And the guitar, the guitarist he, on, like, yeah. the end of the verse kind of, like, Went it's, to the wrong key, too. They're clearly slightly off, and they're trying to mm -hmm. adjust for it in real time, which is, again, very, very amazing because it's barely noticeable. Yeah. But knowing how well these guys normally play, you can tell they're never late. They're never yeah. slightly off, and they're they're trying to get the timing right. right. So it's, it's just all <laughs> of those things, all of those things, like, on top of each other. And just then they like, just keep beautiful. going. Yeah. They're just like... They're yeah. like, nah, we're not gonna stop. We're just gonna go. We're just gotta. We'll we're figure it out go. by the end. Figure it out, man. By the time, but by the time she really needs us, when she's we'll really going, <laughs> we'll yeah. be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we know what's coming, right? right? It isn't everyone, man. Into something Just Dude. like, and she was, it was freestyling. Like that was, yeah. a, that was not exactly planned. And, oh, and, and the amount of grit that she's using for the amount of time that she's doing, especially once you start getting up there in yeah. the range, the higher you get, the more constricted your throat gets. That's how it makes higher sounds. And then when you're pushing that kind of grit through it, this isn't the kind of, this isn't um, forced distortion type grit. This no, is no. actually guttural grit, which mm -hmm. comes from the, the backside versus coming from up here. And uh, and that, dude, that is wears on you. That definitely wears on your voice, man. It, it, it like reminds me of like the only time that I've ever seen her like struggle was during that, that yeah. challenge performance, which is like, okay, okay, right? And like, yeah. like, it's almost like there, it's like, man, you can feel like those moments, you know what I mean? Like, it's so crazy. They're so good together, man. Yeah. Ah. <sighs>
Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank we you. love you. TG Delana and the TG vibes. All right. We love you. <laughs> Dude. They seem like some goofballs. Wild, man. man. You know? They seem like just that's normal goofballs. But that's what's the coolest part about them. Yeah. Like, that's the coolest part of a lot of these. Man, like, okay. We met when we were out there, right? We met with multiple. What? Just what decided to play next? Oh, I accidentally like, stay yeah, yeah, awake. <laughs> um, but when I met with people, you know, you I don't know why you just anticipate. Maybe it's because of the way that a lot of artists are here, but you anticipate at least one of the people you're gonna meet, right? We met with eight, nine, ten artists. I don't know when we were there. Mm -hmm. You just anticipate like somebody's gonna have an attitude, right? Somebody's gonna be like, I'm good, and I know I'm good, right, 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 because here. You probably get a, like a 70 30 split of like 70% yeah. of the artists or I mean, more. 70% of local people. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Are still like that. that like, yeah. We're not even talking about well known. I'm just I'm just talking about here. It's, it's like everybody is like wants you to know how big of a deal they are. Mm -hmm. And and it, I mean, man, the amount of uh, humility there and how humble those groups are. It's just every single person group that we worked with was just fun and outgoing and happy to be there like nobody was inconvenient like you know what right. i mean like it just it feels better when it doesn't feel like oh i'm forced here to like my my management team told me to come do this yeah you know what yeah. i mean then when they're there because they truly want to be there and enjoy the music and enjoy what's happening and like that's one of the coolest things about it that's what makes you want to work with them that's what makes you like right like it's great working with great artists is great but honestly like i don't like I don't want to work with assholes. Yeah, you like, know what I mean? I there's a certain echelon of of artists that I would both agree to work with, and if they were an asshole. Yeah. Like it, it would have to be way up here. Yeah. Like if if a, if they were like I get like five hundred thousand streams a month, I'd be like, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. it's not worth it. Even though, like, you put your name on the right. thing for right, the right. artist that's going to be the artist of the week. Right. And then they're gone. And then you right. had to deal with a guy for a week and a half about, you know what right. I mean? It's not worth it. And the re the reality is that's probably not, that problem isn't going to go away once that song is done. Right? There's going to be problems down the road. Right. There's going to be rights issues, things like that. that. You know, it's just all the shit that you don't want to deal with. And uh, when it comes to that, though, like, that's what makes it so great is, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean. <sighs> Really glad that we found found what we found. We found what we found. We're doing it was the right time. Yeah, it was the right place, right time, right everything. So it's like the crazy hot scale of producing. <laughs> yes. Do you know the crazy hot scale? The hot crazy scale. Uh. Also known as the what is the, the oh the, yeah 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 the um, how I met your yeah, mother the what is it the Missy the Missy oh, diagonal what is it the Missy I can't think of her last name uh Men, Missy Mendoza diagonal. Where it's basically like there's X amount of hot and X amount of crazy. Yeah. And like in order to be this amount of crazy, you need to at least be this amount of hot. <laughs> right, right. To, in order I, to deal with it. Yeah, and yeah. if you start slipping below the scale, yeah. that's <laughs> like. I was watching. That's how from I How I Met Your Mother, guys. I don't Dude, actually feel that way. I was watching it the other day just because just I was watching it. And yeah. I was like, they couldn't make the show now. There's no way they could make like some of the oh, jokes. Oh, because some are of the it. jokes that are yeah, yeah. I mean, the show came out in 2009, I think. I know, but like yeah. I just remember it being like the hottest show on the planet, yeah. and but then you watch it now and you're that's like, wow. Every show though. True. That's every show. True, true. Do you know what I've been watching back now? Because it's cool for me to leave on. I always have like, I, I every couple of years I miss politics sometimes. I don't miss the things that happen in politics, but I miss the way that politics made me feel about some of the changes that we were making, mm -hmm. and uh, I love the West Wing. Oh, Love the West Wing. It, was a big, it. it was a big, big show back in the day. It's Martin Sheen at its finest, and regardless of whether you like him or not, like Martin Sheen is a very, very good actor. There's Emilio Estevez? Martin Sheen. Isn't what that? Isn't Martin Sheen the same guy as Emilio Estevez? In like that he played Emilio Estevez? No. No, Martin Sheen. Oh. I thought they were the same Charlie guy. Charlie Sheen's dad. Yeah, cause, well, because Emilio Estevez is Charlie Sheen's brother. Is he? Yes. I didn't know that. So I thought because he changed his name, I thought. Oh, the, I I didn't know I didn't know anything yeah. about that. It's 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 his dad. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Uh, but anyway, it, I, he's just he's so good in it, and all the acting is really good in it. They won a ton of nominations back then, won a ton of awards. 
Um, but it, it kind of is my fix. It's very, very quirky. It's very, very up based. But I think about it in terms of now, like politically, where they were back then and the things that they would talk about. Mm. And where we are politically now, and like what they were fighting for back then, and like what they would say about it, and it's just like it's crazy sometimes. You're like, yeah. holy crap, did like, because I was involved directly in that stuff back then, and it was just like, man, how this hasn't necessarily aged well. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, guys, <sighs> Emilio Estevez is Martin Sheen's son. Got it, other son. Yeah, which is, makes sense because he's Emilio! Charlie Sheen's brother. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I hope that you guys had a good time with us today. Thank you so much. Uh, please don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow along with our journey. Check out our live stream Saturdays, noon central time. Check out our brand new single, My Light, out now on Spotify, Apple, and Amazon. And make sure you are checking out and following all these artists that we're doing these reactions to. We have yes. a bunch of P-pop interviews coming out. We have exclusive performances that we recorded with them when we were out there. So check them out. Make sure you're supporting them. Help us uh, make P-pop rise. And uh, today's secret code is... You go first. Paperclip. Dang, that was fast. Uh, pickup truck. Paperclip pickup truck. Yeah. There it is, guys. Paperclip pickup truck is your secret code. If nobody told you that they love you today, please do not forget that we love you. You're appreciated. Always welcome here on this channel, and you are enough. And last but certainly not least. It was a great day to play. Thanks, guys. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.